Hi, welcome to this week's How To. I'm your host today, Max Schofield, and today we're going to be learning about cameras. Starting with the SLR, which stands for Single Lens Reflex, this is your original film photography style camera. But today we're going to be talking about DSLRs. The DSLR was introduced in the early 2000s. This model that we're working with currently is the Canon Rebel T5i. The camera. Okay, starting with the camera. With the camera, you should get a battery and lens included, but you will also need an SD card. Let's start with the battery. The battery normally goes on the bottom of the cameras, but not all models are made the same. But what are made the same are the batteries. They tend to go in only one way. So if there's any resistance, don't fight it. As for the SD card, it's the same situation. They only go in one way. And a lot of the times, some cameras even show you how to put the SD card in. And there you are. Moving on to the lenses. Over here is the release mechanism for the lens. You push that down and you twist. And for the lens, you do the same. You twist to unlock it. Try not to touch this or this area because you just don't want that to happen. Now to hook the lens into the camera, it's simple. You match the red dot with the red dot. If you have one with the white square, you do the same thing. Once it hooks in, all you have to do is just twist, and then you'll hear a, and then that way, it's locked. And once again, to unlock it, you press the button, and you twist. The setup. Now that the camera's all set, let's turn the camera on by flipping the switch. Once we're there, it will show you what mode you are in currently. Now that the camera's on, let's jump into the menu. Go ahead and hit that menu button, now that we're in the menu, you can see up above here that there's a couple of different layouts. You have photo, video settings, and also just the general settings. What we're looking for are those, the general settings, which are located with the wrench icon. Normally, you don't have to format cards, but sometimes from different cameras, they run differently. So to format the card is just to reset it and say, yes, this is the camera I want to shoot with. But make sure if you have anything on that card prior, that you get it offloaded first because it will reset the entire card. The modes. Now that the card's all formatted, let's jump over to the modes. On all DSLRs, they tend to come with a lot of different types of modes to choose from. Here, I wanna focus on the five basics. First is the little green box, which is normally resembled with the green color or an A for auto. The camera does everything for you. You don't have to think about anything. There is also program, TV, AV, and what most professionals use, manual. With manual, you now get the option to choose all of the settings to be able to change. And that was shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Now that you got the camera set up and know the different modes, I've been Max Schofield here at How To. Good luck shooting.